Halloween is just around the corner. Chances are there's gonna be a lot of theme parties. I wear the comic book theme to this year Dragon Con. People can't stop staring at my ear. They want to know what is in the word bubble. A little accessory like this makes me feel like I belong there. Plus, the ears are so cute, but it's not over the top. If you want to make it even more cuter, try this thing. I printed these pictures from online, so as long as you have a printer, you can make any kind of themes. Plus, the materials to make them are so inexpensive, you can make as many themes to cater to your event. Of course, you can make it nice and simple for your Christmas guests. Let's begin, my crafty babies! We're going to start with simple frame cat ears. It's so simple, even children can make it. You're going to need one 15.5 inch wire and two silly wires. We need to measure the distance between each ear onto the headband. Take the 15.5 inch wire and mark 6 inch from both ends. As you can see, it is about 3.5 inch from both points. Mark 2.5 inch away from both marked points to create the measure of the ears. Don't worry about the headband being small, it's for decoration only, not meant to hold back hair. Take your silly wire, find the center point, grab a little away from the center and start wrapping the wire onto the marked headband. Keep wrapping until you reach to the other point. Do the same to the other ear. Crisscross the wire to find your desirable size for your cat ear. Once you find your size, you can start wrapping the wires like what you did earlier. Fold the finished ear to the opposite side. Try to measure the same size for the other ear. Once you have the right size, start wrapping the wires together. You are finished! They are very easy and inexpensive. You can make many of them for your upcoming holiday parties. If you want something more theme related, try this approach. You will need 3 of the 15.5 inch wires. The first few steps are the same. You will need to mark the headband and wrap the wires to make the frame of the ears. The only difference is that you're using normal wires instead of silly wires to make the ears. Make sure to wrap the wires as tightly as possible. This will help the finished product to look more even. As you can see, the first few steps are the same. I always get a headache when I wear the headband too long. I didn't have that problem when I was at DragonCon. I think it's because the weak wire did not create too much pressure on my head. Once you have both of the ears done, remove a strip of clear tape and place it on the table with the sticky size up. Use another sticky size face-up tape and join it with the first piece. Place the frame of the ears over the tapes. Sandwich the ear completely by using two more tape facing down this time. Try to remove some air bubbles. This is what you should have so far. Trim away any excess tape. Be careful not to cut away too much that it starts to take away the center part of the ear. Don't worry if you see some opening between your tapes. Just grab some more tape and wrap them together. You don't have to be meticulous about this part, just make sure you get all the corners. Of course, if you cover the whole edge of the ear, it will make the ear more sturdy. Make sure you do the same to the opposite ear. The plastic frame of the ears will support the paper art. Pick a theme that best represents the event that you are attending. I went to Dragon Con, so I used the comic book theme. Both ears doesn't have to match completely, but just make sure it floats. At this point, I am marking and cutting the art pieces for the ears. Make sure they fit the size of your cat ears. This is the part that everyone's going to see. If you have word bubbles on it, trust me, everyone's gonna want to read it, so be sure to pick something clever. We need a total of 4 art pieces for one headband, 2 on both sides. Don't throw away the scrap comics yet. We need to use them to cover the edge of the ears. Apply generous amount of glue onto the paper. Slowly and carefully wrap the paper onto the edge of the ear. Once the glue softens the paper, the paper becomes very flexible and extremely easy to mold it into place. Notice I used two long strips of paper to cover the top part of the ear. 
It's because the shape of it makes it possible to use the long collected part. On the bottom part of the ear, we had to use small individual papers. Be sure to cover the edge completely with the paper. You really want to pay more attention to the corners. The next step is to attach your art piece. The size of the art piece might be different on each ear, therefore be sure to find the right fitting piece. The two matching feature pieces should be on the same side. Pre-position your art piece before you glue them, cause once you glue them, you can't remove them without some damage. Of course, apply the same method to the opposite side. The final step is optional. I seal the ears with Mod Podge to make it water resistant. The last thing you need to do is allow it to dry. Now you finish. The possibilities are endless. You can use your favorite football team, your high school theme, such as homecoming party, you want to show your spirit and still remain very girly, or you just simply love something cute. Go ahead, have fun and be creative, my crafty babies. It's about being original and show your personality. And of course, I am a huge Hello Kitty fan. Or you prefer something nice and simple. Thanks for watching. Come back see me next week. May you be happy.